G'day and welcome to the Basic Foot Side with Jenny Brandis. In lesson three, we learned the half stitch ground. In this lesson, we are going to learn to insert the basic foot side on both sides of that ground. Put up a pin in the rightmost pin hole. Hang a worker pair on the pin in an open or rainbow configuration. The passive pin is placed at the top of the red line between the pin dots. Hang the passive pair on this pin. That gives us two pairs side by side, the passive pair on the inside and the first worker pair on the outside. As in lesson three, the next four pins across the top will hold two pairs locked together on each pin. We will start the lace as we hang in the pairs rather than hang them before starting. Starting with the outside worker pair, we are going to cross stitch through the passive pair represented with a line between the two outside rows. Cross, twist, cross through the passives. That gives us a cross stitch through the passive pair. The left pair is a worker pair, so add a twist and push both pairs aside for the moment while we hang in the next two pairs. Put up the pin and hang two pairs in the open or rainbow configuration. To lock the two pairs together, add a twist on the left two bobbins, cross the center two bobbins, and add a twist on each pair. This locks the two pairs together so that when the pin is removed, they stay together rather than separating into two loops. Push the left pair aside and the right pair will work down the diagonal to the right. Bring in the worker pair from the foot side and work half stitch, pin, half stitch. Cross and twist. Put up the pin. Cross and twist. Push the left pair aside and bring down the passives. In this pattern, the passives are worked in cloth stitch. Cross, twist, cross. Hold your passives down and pull your worker pair out and up to tension the work. Add two twists to the working pair. Put up the outside pin. Cloth stitch back through the passives. Cross, twist, cross. Tension your passives, then hold them down while you tension your working pair. Add a twist to your working pair. Put the passive pair aside and bring down the three worker pairs ready to hang in the next two pairs. Hang in and lock two pairs on the next pin and work the right pair in half stitch, pin half stitch to the last pin hole before the passives. Note that we are working diagonally towards the right. Cross and twist. Put up the pin and close the pin with cross and twist. We are now at the foot side passives, so bring them down. Make sure there is a twist on the workers and none of the passives. Then cross stitch through the passive. Cross, twist, cross. And after you've done that, put two twists on the workers. They can also be called pin twists as you are going around an outside pin. Put up the pin, tension and cross stitch back through the passives. Cross, twist, cross, and add a twist to the worker pair and tension. Push the passives aside, bring all the other pairs down. Hang in two pairs and work the ground to the foot side. Work the half stitch, pin half stitch, cross stitch through the passives and add the two pin twists. Put up the pin and tension. Cross, twist, cross and put a twist on the workers. Push the pairs to the right and add the next two new pairs before working in half stitch ground back to the foot side. Half stitch, pin, half stitch, the inner foot side pin. Cross stitch through the passes and add the two twists to the workers. Put up the foot side outer pin before cross stitch back through the passives tension and add a twist to the worker pair. Move the pairs to the right, ready to start the left foot side. Now that we are over at the left foot side, we can see the passive line and the worker pin hole. We could hang both pairs off the worker pin, but I will hang each pair on its own pin. Cross stitch the worker pair through the passive pair. Add a twist to the incoming workers. 
push the passives to the side, work the half stitch ground to the fourth pin as we are going to concentrate on the left side for a few rows. We could have continued to the right foot side, but I'd like to show you the left foot side. Push all the right hand pairs up and out of the way as we are just going to work on these bobbins at the moment. At the foot side, we have got the passive pair and the worker pair. The worker pair is to go through the passives, around the pin and back through the pass. Cross, twist, cross, two twists to go around the pin, put up the pin and tension. Bring the worker back into the lace with cross stitch through the passives. Don't forget to add the twist to the workers as you tension. Work the half stitch ground and come back to the left foot side. At this stage, I have the choice of working from two high points, here and here. I am choosing to work this corner first and then I'll come back and start from there. Repeat the foot side. Cross, twist, cross. Add the two twists and put up the pin. Tension and go back through the passives with cross stitch. Cross, twist and cross. Tension and add the worker twist before pushing the passives aside. Continue working that corner. Move all the bobbins down. Ready to start at the highest point. The pair to the left and the pair to the right will work this pin. Cross, twist, pin, cross, twist. Work in half stitch ground down the diagonal row to the right foot side. Do the foot side in cloth stitch, two twists, pin, cloth stitch and twist. Repeat working from the high point until the next high point is the left foot side. Continue working the left foot side, ground, right foot side until the sampler is finished before tying off each pair with a reef knot.